Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about a, a popular stock, AI, that's C3 AI, and um, kind of how to trade its most recent pullback. So back in the beginning of 2023, you know, we saw this huge move to the upside from the low to the high. Um, AI went up 204%, which is a, a massive move. That's a 3x on your money. And then since, you know, making its top back in early February, these last two, three weeks, you know, we've mostly just been going sideways, um, kind of oscillating above and below the 20 day moving average. And if, if you're one of the, the smarter traders, you would have been taking notice of, of AI at this point on Friday, instead of trying to buy it back in the beginning of February. So what we have here is a, this is a pretty classic chart pattern. This is a bull flag. So if you haven't heard of a bull flag, this is when a stock makes a big upward price move and then pulls back or corrects sideways, you know, over about a two to three week period and it stays relatively near its, its 20 day moving average. So if, if the flag's kind of hard to see, you know, we'll draw some of these lines on here for you. Um, and then, so there's your flag and then here's the flag pole. So you can kind of see, this is where we really want to start getting interested in stocks like this. Um, you know, everybody's been talking about this stock the whole time it was going up and, and there wasn't really a great risk reward entry point. And that's not where you want to be entering a stock. If, if you're trying to get the maximum bang for your buck, you want to buy when you get a pullback either in price or in time. And then you got, and then you buy once we get a breakout. So on Friday, we got a huge breakout on, on big volume. And what you want to see when you get this correction is, is you want to see volume kind of subside. So even though we are, you know, kind of trending up, down, up, down, there isn't a whole lot of volume to go with those price moves, which lets you know that there's not a lot of shares that are trading hands. This is still a stock that people want to own. And that's evident by volume contracting. We're not seeing a big, you know, transfer of shares from, from people that bought down here to people that are buying up here. The people that bought down here still want their shares. And that's evident by this volume contraction. And then we know that the next price move is about to begin because we get a huge breakout from this bull flag on larger volume. And this is evident here, you know, the, the 50 day moving average of volume is only around 17 million. And on Friday we traded 75 and a half million shares. So this is over about a 3.5 X of what the average daily volume is. And this lets you know that there is validity behind this moving and volume is their added confirmation. So if you don't know how bull flags work, um, there it's a good way to kind of you know come up with price targets. Uh, they're not always realistic, but you know they're they're kind of a way to sense you know what your potential profit could be. So we moved up 204% on this last move, and then we'll use that as our measured move to see what our next move could be. So using um, using Thursday's close as our as our next measured move point, we could see. C3 AI move up to $65 um, before this next move is closed. And that's another 204.33% move, which will triple your money. So I, like I said, I've, I'm currently in this stock. I got long on Friday after this big power earnings gap, which is another, you know, strong confirmation um, on this earnings move. We did see price move higher and investors and traders alike are liking the results they saw from their quarterly earnings. And this is evident by the gap up in price as well as a strong close. So we, we know a potential target around 65. We got confirmation that our breakout's happening, and this is evident by the double confirmation of volume. So now we just need to talk about risk. So even though you're in a stock and it, and it has this huge upside move, you need to know when to get out of a stock. So if you wanna do something simple, I would say use the low of the gap as your stop. So Friday's gap up, the low of that was at 24.03 that is going to be your stop on this trade. If price closes below 2403, you'll get stopped out and our price move will be invalidated. So you might be a little bit late to the trade, but if you're still looking to, you know, possibly see these big powerful price moves in future stocks, these bull flags are a good way to do it. And when it's paired with a contraction in volume during the, uh, the sideways consolidation, and then a big volume breakout, that is when you know you have a good potential winner on your hands. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, continue.
continue coming to this channel for future videos like this.